Okay, now yeah. we did present simple and past simple. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, move to future simple now. Okay. Future simple, we have two types of future simple tenses. One is will, mm -hmm. another is is going to. Mm -hmm. It's written will plus yeah. infinitive yeah. and going to plus infinitive. So is going to plus infinitive. Like we have these uh, two sentences here. Yeah. So, Suzanne will meet us at the cafe at 3 o'clock. Yes. And Suzanne is going to meet us at the cafe at 3 o'clock. Both the sentences are right. Right, I just use a different color. Yeah, so both the sentences are right. Right. Now, the thing is, what's the difference then? Whenever you use will, mm -hmm. that means you're predicting on basis of your opinion. If you move to the next slide, let's say we have the definitions there. Okay. Okay. Whenever you predict on basis of your opinion or past ex experience, mm -hmm. you use will. So what you're saying is, whenever, whenever you are basing on the basis of your opinion mm -hmm. or experience, we use will. We will use will. Right. Which has been used here. Right. So okay. I imagine the stadium will be crowded on Saturday. Why do I use will here? Because the words imagine. Imagine. So if I say imagine, that automatically means it's my opinion. Yes. So if it is my opinion, I will use will. Yes, because imagine is your opinion. So if you use words like I think. Yeah. I feel, yeah. in my opinion, so any word that says that it's your opinion, you'll always use will, yes. not is going to. I cannot say I imagine that the stadium is, is going, going to, to be, be no. uh, uh, full on Saturday or crowded on Saturday. Understood. Right? Understood. You can also not say every Saturday the stadium is full, uh, gets full, therefore this Saturday it's going to be. It will be full it because will that be full will be because the you're imagining again. It's based on opinion and experience. It's been, yes, based on opinion. Okay. So if then you put it on basis of your uh, on basis of evidences, mm -hmm. then you use is going to. Okay, so whenever you're predicting on basis of evidences or basing on the basis of uh, yes, on the basis of evidences, which is here, yeah. you're saying is, is going, going to. to. It's not based on your opinion. Opinion no. will be well would. Yes. So ticket counter status indicates that the stadium is going to be crowded on. Is going to now because yes. the ticket counter has already stated. Yeah, so it's the status yeah. that indicates. Yes. So it's not your opinion, it's not your experience, it's the evidence. It's, it's evidence that you've got. So when you have an evidence, you always use is going to. When yes. you do not have an evidence, you, so you cannot say, I think um, it is going to rain. Yes. You always say, I think I, it will rain. I think it will rain. Yeah. Yes. But the weather department report says yes. it is going to rain. I think it will rain. Weather department predicts. Yeah. Weather department predicts it is going to yeah. rain. So it when is. you see words like think, feel, imagine, opinion, yeah. so yeah. always remember that you use will. Okay. Okay. Now let's let's move to the next slide. I'll tell you one more rule for this. Sure. Let me just change the color. This is not very visible. Okay. Okay. Now. Decisions or intentions that were made before, but mm -hmm. you report them. You use will. You know when something has already been decided, but you're only reporting it. Mm -hmm. You use will. Okay. You use sorry is going to. Is going to. Yeah. So it's already been made, and you're only reporting it. So you're saying something which has been decided earlier. Yeah. Now you're reporting it. Right. Okay. Again, okay. see this would be very similar from your last slide mm -hmm. where you said the facts are always. Is uh, they are always simple tense. Yeah, simple tense. But this is I N G. Yeah, this so is I N G format. Don't okay, this is I N G format. Yeah. This is the I N G. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so who's sponsoring the trip? Yes. Now, Amanda is going to do it. Why? Because it's already been arranged. Right. It's already been arranged. Now you're only saying it. You're only reporting. It's, you're it. reporting this. So reporting. So it's something that has already been decided. Reporting you always do in an I N G format. format. Yes. So you say who's arranging the party? Joe is going to arrange it. Okay. Right? But if there is a decision that you make at the moment of speaking. Okay. When you decide and speak at the same time. Uh -huh. So you use will. Okay. So for example, the phone is ringing. Right. Don't worry, I'll get it. So you don't say I am going to get it. For example, if I if I drop my pen mm -hmm. and I try to bend and mm -hmm. take it. Right. You say, wait, I will get it. Yes. You don't say, wait, I am going to get it. I'm going to because get you it decide now, yes. at the time of speaking. Right. So, so when you're saying that decision has been made at the moment of speaking, yes. don't worry, I'll, I'll which is yeah. I will. Yes. 
That's why you say, I will, I will turn on the lights, yes. I will get it. Because that's a decision that you yeah. take taken instantly. Yeah. So, so it it's be not being already will. decided. Absolutely. So absolutely. That in that case, you use will. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Let's move. Now, the exception to the rule, as you know, there always are. Yeah. Let's see. Let me just put something here, yeah. <laughs> yes. You said will plus infinitive. Yeah. No, let's let's move one more slide. You need to go to yeah. another slide? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. When we use uh, any adverbal clause, that starts with a time condition. Any adverbal clause. Yeah. Which introduced by a time condition. Time condition. Okay. As in after. I, I just take a minute. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So you're seeing any. Yes. Yeah. So any, or you can say any clause that starts with after, before, when, and until. After, before, when, and until. So if your sentence starts with after, before, when, and until, we're talking about future. Yeah. But if it starts with after, before, when, and until, we do not use will. We use present simple. Yes. Okay. After you go another 60 meter, we don't say after you will go another 60 meter. So in this case, we'll always use present simple. So this is an exception to the rule. Even if we're talking about future, mm. we'll still use present simple tense. Mm. After okay? you will go on. No, so that, that's wrong. That's wrong. So yes. we say before he will come. Yeah. That's wrong. Before he comes. Before he comes. Yeah. When he will see you. When, when he, he sees, sees you. you. Yeah. yeah. I will not go until he will ask me. So until he asks. So very important. This is this is on time conjunction. Yeah. So anything which is time conjunction. Yeah. And this, if the sentence starts with the time conjunction. So if a sentence starts, so this is another important point. It starts with time conjunction. Yeah. Make sure that you yeah. use present simple, simple. Present yes. simple. The rest of the clause can take future. As yes. in we say, after you go another 60 meter, you will see a road uh, to you. So we have used future, yes. but not in the same clause. In that particular clause where we have time conjunction, we don't use future simple. Another example? No. Another example, I just gave you like before uh, before he will come, before, I will leave before he will come. Before he will come. So this is a wrong sentence, yes, right? I yeah. would be gone, let's yeah. say. I would be gone is wrong right. because before he comes, before is a time conjunction and starting with it. Right. So your sentence will be before he, he comes. comes I would be whatever one let's say. This is one rule. Second rule is if we have a conditional clause. Okay. Conditional clause as in if, unless, mm -hmm. in case, mm -hmm. provided. Mm -hmm. So these are all conditions. Mm -hmm. In the conditional clause also we do not use will, we use present simple tense. So in a conditional clause you will not use a will. Yeah, so we will always use a normal present simple tense. Yeah, so let me know if he says anything interesting. If she says anything. Yeah. So we yes. don't say let me know if he will or if she will say anything interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True. Right? So let me know if she will say no, that, that, that's wrong. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So we'll uh, arrange a party provided we all go together. We don't say provided we all we, we all, all will, will go, go together. together yeah. So, so let's say we will go to a party provided we will. Yeah, so that will be wrong. That will be wrong. Yeah. You will go together. Please mention this is wrong. Yeah, so this is wrong. And so it has we to have be to mention, we have to just cut the will here. Yeah. So you go to a party provided we go together. Go together. Right. So understood, so this is an exception to rule and you have to be careful. Exception. So this is important, this is an exception to the rule. Yeah. So please do not make a mistake here. Exception, let me just write it again. Okay. okay, perfect. So shall we stop here and take the other tenses in the next video? Uh, what's, what's coming next? So we have continuous tenses now. So we have continuous tenses after this. Yeah. We'll take it in the next video. Sure. Thanks a lot. Okay.